Hello, this is Chaos Bull, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we dicked around in the desert for a while, and this time we're going to attempt to not do that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, to be perfectly honest, this whole sequence can be pretty buggy. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Ha! Two can play at that game! Yeah, I also have Matter Magic, and you're just gonna keep spamming that, aren't you? Hey, Cloud. Heal everyone. They just got hit by four Matter Magics. I may only have two Matter Magics, but mine deal quite a bit more damage than yours. But we're insufficient to actually kill you. Uh, whoops. I should have just used Chocobo Mog, I guess. Oh well. Would, would you cut that out? Dudes. Dudes. Stop it. Okay, okay, that killed all of them. They are all dead. Oh, and I couldn't either. Uh, I should probably do this, though. Okay, so if we go directly to the right here... Damn it! No! I was afraid this would happen. This whole this whole area is really buggy like that. What should happen is you walk to the right and then you immediately get to the area we want to get to. But it doesn't always work. Because it's really buggy. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're, we're behind this again. That's a good sign. Now... Haha! -ha! We have arrived at the junkyard again! Is there anything here, actually? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there is not. Um... Yep. Yep, that that's dying. Oh. So it hmm. Ah. Yeah, he just he just shot Barrett. What? It's Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. Barrett didn't even do anything wrong! That's a very good question. What? Hmm. Okay, so what you're saying doesn't really relate to your having killed a bunch of innocent people. I mean, you also killed the Shinra soldiers, but... But you also killed, like, Golden Saucer receptionists, which... While the Golden, the Golden Sauce is almost certainly a rich corporation itself, it is it is bizarrely like the one place in the whole freaking world that is somewhat independent, that is independently run from Shinra. So, yeah. Hmm. 
He has a limp. Okay, well, he's shot Barrett four times now. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene. Marlene is still alive. What? What? Okay, I think he's sort of crazy, yes. Um, the implication here, I don't know if it was ever confirmed, is that Marlene was Dine's daughter? Okay, I've lost count. He's shot Barrett a whole lot, though. Yeah. This is a one-on-one -on -one fight. Dine versus Barrett. Dine is actually taller than Barrett. But Barrett is bulkier. Although, I gotta say, Dine's battle sprite way more beefy than he, he looked on the map screen. I guess he is a former coal miner, so that is to be expected. Let's see. Ooh, I have ice too. Let's do it. Ah, that was a little underwhelming. How about bio? Uh, I mean, that was okay. I almost have my limit break again. Oh, that should do it. Oh no, not quite. Uh, are you immune to laser? Probably. Let's let's try master magic. I mean, I'm sort of just playing around here. I'm not really taking this seriously. Uh, okay. On that note, I should actually heal myself because. I think he has one more attack that can deal more damage that he hasn't used yet. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think he does, so it pays to keep my HP not... I mean, like, I have a lot of leeway. Barry is pretty tanky. But it pays to not go, like, really low. Wait, is he just dead? No, he's not. Uh, okay, that didn't deal that much damage. Oh, maybe he is. Yep, he's just dead. I mean, I guess I did hit him with two limit breaks. And I got a silver armlet. Awesome. You're gonna probably give that one to Cloud. I just realized, he has a gun wrap there. Wrap. Gun rack. With some fairly large guns on it. I mean, we cert we should be able to resolve it. Except Dine is sort of a crazy. Like, really crazy. Hmm... For your, like, Marlene is, what, six? Maybe eight? Definitely no older than eight. That was four years ago, so she would have been either four or two. Hmm. If she was four, then she probably remembers you. If she was two, at least vaguely. If she was two, then probably not. Okay, yeah. Marlene was definitely his daughter. Wait, she's four? So, she w must have been a freaking infant then! I thought she- no, she has to be older than four. Did, did you really make a four-year-old work in a pub? 
It, well, not even a pub, but it's a bar. By herself? Oh, I... I just... No. <laughs> Hmm. That's kind of tragic, though. I mean, Barrett's whole thing. I find it decidedly less tragic that freaking... That freaking dying, the crazy person decided to, you know... I mean, he was, he was probably gonna die anyway. He had a heavy limp. He did get shot up by Barrett pretty badly. Okay, where the hell was I? Alright, oh, we're talking to this asshole so that we can climb up the tower. And, you know, do stuff. Well, something like that. Okay. Mm hmm. So, can we just go do that, please? Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. definitely do not belong down here. <laughs> that is kind of rude, actually. I mean, she looks funny insofar as she stands out in a place full of criminals because she's well-dressed. Actually, she does her outfit is a little odd. Um, but not, like, I just, you know, let's just move on to. Chocobo junkies are not only criminals. Or so you claim. Not really interested. We'll figure it out. No, actually, it is like... Oh, wait, first of all. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yes, I am. But yeah, do you see it? Because I see it. If I can just, please, um... Okay, yeah. Hi, Joe. I don't want to talk to you right now. Joe's actually legit the hardest, pretty much the hardest one to beat in the race. But not this race. I don't think he's in the race we do here. Uh, which, as far as I know, is... I mean, it's not literally impossible to lose. But it's... Practically impossible to lose. When we're f do, when in the far future we come back to do more races of our own, but yeah, get this. This is pretty much your only chance to get it, and it is totally missable. Uh, I cannot open my menu, but I digress. Yeah. So that's that's this, right? It must be because they're all coming over here, but I can't go through. Why can I not go through the door? Let me through. I can't open my menu either. That's annoying. Uh, hello? Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, that's good. He should do well, basically. <laughs> Basically, they give you an OP chocobo for your first race. It makes it very hard to lose. Uh, put it in manual. I believe I want to hold down square, or... That's dash. Okay. Here's the thing. Uh... Okay, I don't know what the speed up button is, but... Here's the thing. Hold down... Um... 
if you're playing on the what's it what's it called? Um, if you're playing on the PS1 version, hold down R1 and R2, and it'll recharge your stamina. If you're playing on the computer, you need to hold down the page down, I think. At, you know, I have it written down. Where is it? Um, no, stop dashing. Hold down, uh, page down and target. Which, in my case, is R1 and L2, because apparently I have those backwards. Go, go figure. Uh, but it dramatically increases the amount of stamina you have. Which is really important, because if you run out of stamina, you will freaking... Well, you'll just lose. Pretty much. You lose so much speed if you run out of stamina. Okay, I just got passed. At the finish line. Um... Wow, I didn't know I could lo even lose this. It would help if I knew the button for... Because there's more than just the dash button. Maybe I should actually listen to the freaking tutorial. Wait, did she just say she'll give me a better chocobo? <laughs> I was actually gonna rig it so that I can win. Ah, uh, because I screwed up. I didn't even know that was losable. I mean, as I said earlier, I knew it was possible to lose it, but I didn't know that... Well, let me put it this way. I thought you would pretty much have to throw the race to lose it. Like, I thought you would have to do it deliberately. I was mistaken. Okay, actually, actually give me the freaking, <laughs> just give me the instructions. Okay, I know how to do that. Okay, so that's speed up. Wait, I can actually control my direction? Does that even do a thing? Whatever. Okay, so this time, I'm going to hold down the button that increases my speed. I think. And I'm going to hold down the button that recharges my stamina. And I'm going to do a lot of dashing, because I'm not in first place yet. So basically, I'm holding down, like, five buttons at once. Because I'm not sure which but I'm still not 100% sure which button is speed up, but I know which one is slow down, so I'm not hitting that one. Uh, you know, I don't need to dash anymore. Uh, my stamina is still dropping a little- Well, no, that's actually pretty- I'm going a lot faster than before, and my stamina looks fairly stable, so this should be good. I just need to get to the end of the race. Whoa, I won! I am... Editing this is going to be a fucking nightmare. Sorry for the shitty episode, but somebody decided to walk in my door twice in the last 20 minutes. <sighs> okay, well, woo, we won. We get a a thing. Um, no, oh, hey, he pardoned us. Great, because you know a corporate leader has the power to ha has the power to imprison people. Oh, I. <sighs> yeah, so. Basically, we got a car. That That's all there is to it. Wait, what? Okay. Well, I would have liked to record more, but I am pretty exhausted. So I think this is probably going to be the end of my recording session. Uh, I don't believe I can unboard while I'm in the desert, so I'm gonna go over here, hit the menu button, and of course the fucking phone rings. You know, that's just the kind of day this is apparently being. I 
I am so upset right now. Okay, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. We are gonna do cool stuff next time. Until then, bye! Uh.